guys, it's Kim here with Barely Fiber Fun. Thanks so much for joining me on today's uh, drum carding, no, alpaca carding video. So I got some alpaca to add into bats for Calypso Creations, and these are seconds and thirds. This is not the prime blanket. This is not really good fiber. It's still very, very soft. It's still very usable. But before we get into it, I just wanted to give you the caveat that this is not what really good alpaca is like. So if this is your first time seeing anything alpaca, please take that with a grain of salt and understand that this is a low quality alpaca fiber. Okay, so I am, I have a bunch of this to cart up and I honestly do not like alpaca, and since this is not very high quality, I'm really not liking it. Uh, so I'm picking it. I've already washed it. I'm picking it um, as I'm carding, and it's just driving me nuts. And But I got one back carded, and I was very happy with the results. So before I get into any more explanation or anything, um, I would like to give a very, very warm welcome to my new viewers. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. There have been a lot of new viewers here lately and I appreciate you very, very much. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for joining me yet again um, while I play with alpaca. I am a wool girl, um, not, no, not a camelids. I am a wool girl, but I got distracted. Back to the topic at hand. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos as they come out. And leave a comment down below in the comment section telling me what you think about working with alpaca or other camelids. Alpaca is the only one I have. Nope, I've worked with camel. Never mind. Alpaca and camel. Um, so tell me, are you a wool person or a camelid person or a both person? person. There's no wrong answers. I'm just curious. Okay, back to the video. So I am using the Baby Brother Drum Carter, which is the extra coarse, like 54 times per inch on both the Liquor In and the Swift. So both drums. Um, I did get the packing brush assembly kit for this drum carter. I should have just gotten the deluxe version. But anyway, I am running this through the carter several times. Like I mentioned before, it took forever to pick and prep and cart the first time. And then I was still struggling with it going everywhere and just being a big pain for all other passes. You'll see I have to constantly clean the liquor off, which is that small drum. I'm constantly burnishing and I'm I'm just struggling the whole time. It wasn't liking me and my drum carter combination. So we were not getting along. The three of us, the drum carter, me, and the fiber, were just not getting along. So I decided that I was going to switch and try the hand cards for a while because I could not see myself fighting with the drum carter for the whole bag of fleece. Just no. So here I am, hand carding away, sitting comfortably on the couch, which is way better for my back. I have discovered what's been hurting my back for so many years and working on getting it fixed. Uh, the very, very crooked hips um, is my main trouble and incredibly loose joints is my other problem. So those two combined, not a happy combination. But anyway, sitting on the couch, carding this was much easier. I was less picky with the fiber um, because I didn't have to pick it all open first. I could just lay it directly on the hand cards. Um, I did pick out parts that were not great. Extremely, extremely short bits and um, anything that had almost like dandruff embedded in it. Um, I keep keep trying to clean my pants off. This stuff goes everywhere while you're working on it. Um, so at the end, I'll show you a picture of what I looked like after I had already cleaned my pant legs off about three or four times. Um, 
what it, what I still looked like at the end after the last little bit of carding. Uh, so what I'm doing is, and this is all time lapse. I recorded it on time lapse. Did not get any real time footage of this. Um, when I I do several passes on the carders until the fiber looks the way I'm happy with, and then I pull it off the cards by brushing one onto the other the wrong way to get it loose. And then I just kind of roll it up sideways to a little bundle. Um, and then I can take those bundles to the drum carter later and blend the fiber in with wool. So all the other fibers I will be using in these bats for Calypso Creations um, will be already processed. So the alpaca is the only stuff I have to pre-process before I can make all of their Mother's Day bats that I am making. So um, I'll be making my own Mother's Day boxes in April. But this month is Calypso Creation Bats. And I'm very happy to work with their fibers and make bats for them while they tumble a bunch of wool for me. Um, so... It's a lot of fun and I don't mind in the least bit and except for the alpaca not wanting to cooperate with me, I'm really enjoying this process and I do need to sit down and just binge watch something on Netflix or Disney Plus or YouTube or somewhere and card up a bunch of alpacas so I can get started on those bats since I have about three weeks left before the deadline. And I have 12 to 14 bats to make. Yeah. So anyway, hand carding for the win for me. Tell me in the comments which way you would card it. And there's my pants. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.